switch on and dial the thermostat up to between 7 and 8. That's the normal working temperature for the large electric hot plate. Putting clear wax on the glass surface like this is a great way to hold the card in place. Place the card down, bed it down, and then push out any air bubbles just using pads of tissue like this. When you touch the wax block down onto the card, the heat underneath melts the wax straight away. And in this type of application, it's quite a nice way to explore, to experiment with different types of patterns. The colours will all mix. But actually, what you can see is that the final colour that's placed, like these spirals here, is the colour that you'll eventually see, because it pushes the other colours away. Wriggling along, tapping the block. There are lots of simple effects straight from the wax block, but of course you can use tissue. If you make it into a little pad, then you can wipe the tissue away. Here you can smear the colour around, and it's a good way of removing colour, of lightening areas. The wax is absorbed into the tissue. But if you crumple it up, then you can make some quite nice dab trails. Patterns, again, straight off the tissue. This is a rubber sponge, good for texturing. Just dab it on and it evens out the wax colours that are already there. Of course, you can take fresh colour, melt it on the hot plate, and that's an advantage of having a big hot plate and then dab that in too. It's very good for flattening out and evening the surface, but you can also drag it along and create these type of lines. This is a white rubber sponge. It has a hard rubbery edge, which is great for effects. You can drag it, you can tap it, you can twist it. Again, it's a versatile tool. Reworking on the hot plate is very easy. Just take new colour and apply it. This ring sponge, again, made of the white sponge material, creates sort of donut shapes. Again, you can drag it. Or you can tap just an edge of it. There are all sorts of patterns and marks that you can make using many of these tools quite dimensional, some of them. This is a roller, a standard foam roller that you use for decorating. The snap fits and once the roller's got wax in it, it's quite hard to clean out, but just warm it up and then roll it on. And you can see that it has the effect of evening out all the wax that's already there. Initially, it just sort of overlays and the more times you pass, the more it evens it out. Again, you can use the end for making different types of marks. It's a very useful tool, the roller. In fact, it's the best tool for evening a surface out. Of course, you don't have to go in straight lines. You can make curves here using the inner edge. This is the little plug of white sponge from the middle of that donut ring that we looked at earlier on. Just placing down again, tapping the edge. Very dimensional effects. Rubbing, direct placement. All good for making patterns. This is a rubber comb. It has three different sets of teeth. With the largest teeth, the harder you press, the whiter and more wax is taken away. You can see that you get nice effects by working the comb in different ways. The finest one gives quite an interesting result. 
take the roller and you can get rid of effects you don't want. These are rubber brushes. Warm them up a little before you start. And then, like a big version of the comb, you can make these marks that push aside the wax. These tools are made from silicon rubber. And you can do very fine lines as well as the bigger effects. The single piece tongue is good for trails. Now turning up to between 10 and 11 to melt wax on the actual hot plate itself. This hot plate's not designed for deep tin melting. It'll only melt up to about less than a centimetre, probably seven millimetres. But you can see that when you use it as a palette for your waxes, using brushes and working onto a rigid surface, you can easily do layering. And that's very different than working directly on the surface of the hot plate. Of course, as a palette, you can mix colours up and then apply those new colours onto your working surface. Because you're working on a cold surface, you're layering. So each new colour overpaints the existing colour. You can always mix colours on the hot plate, using it as a large palette. And of course this is very useful. You can always put wax straight onto the hot plate as well, and then swipe a card through that, drag card across it, and you get a deposit fantasy skies, hillscapes, and when you press down and lift straight up you get dabbing similar to using the iron, that organic detail effect. Let's have a look at this one. This is a speeded up version of creating a simple abstract image using some of those tools. Just getting some colour all over the card and then using that white rubber sponge to tap in some detail. Warming up the donut to make those overlapping donut shapes. Folding the comb a little bit so that you only get a small amount of it. That can be quite helpful. Sponge, flattening colour out. That little plug to add in some dimension. Wiping with a pad of tissue point. And now the roller. First warm it up and then get rid of areas. And straight away it calms the image down. Rubber brush, a little bit of detail. And this is a scrapey we didn't look at before, but it's a silicon rubber tool. This is quite a fine, long, trailing edged one. Wiping off the edges with the tissue. Back into real time now. And that's it. The electric hot plate, a large, fantastic tool.